miles aside from my soul. All right, guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Thank you so much for all your suggestions on what to cover next. We are going to make all of the ones that you guys have requested. We just need a bit of time. Today, we're going to be talking about how to tailie. This is one of my favorite tricks. Um, important thing before we get started, and that is to just clarify the name of this trick. It's got a lot of names, such as the tailie, the proper name. It's also called the stern squirt, the squirt, the pivot turn, and I think in New Zealand they call it the whoopee. Um, the reason we have to clarify this is for one very special reason, and that's because little nine-year-old Brenny once wanted to learn how to squirt, which he thought was just a kayaking trick. And so he went onto the internet and he Googled it and was absolutely horrified at what Google images turned out for him. So for the sake of the children, we're going to call this the tailie from now on, okay? So to do a tailie, basically what you're doing is slicing the stern of your kayak underneath the water on an eddy line and then you're pivoting around the stern of your kayak. It's really cool, it feels awesome. It takes a little bit of time to learn how to control your edges, but it's not that hard to do, and you can do it pretty much on any piece of moving water as long as it's fairly deep. The technique for it is pretty standard throughout all types of kayaks. One thing to bear in mind though is that the shorter your kayak, the shorter your transition between being on edge and being in vertical is gonna be. So if you have a nice long kayak, like one of the new modern like Prana Rippers, um, Exo Rexy, Brap, uh, you know, any of these long boats, you can um, you can take way longer on your edge, and it's much easier to figure out. If you're in a shorter boat, then you've got to really like snap your hips underneath you and have a quick edge transition. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna find ourselves a nice, deep, powerful eddy line, preferably with a good with a good size eddy, so that we can try this multiple times. One thing to consider here is the more powerful the eddy line, the easier it's gonna be to get your kayak vertical. But it's also gonna be harder to hold yourself on edge and initiate the trick. So. Play around, try it in multiple different spots, and just see which eddy line is going to enable you to learn the trick the easiest. We are going to start at the back of the eddy. We're going to build up some speed towards the eddy line, and right as our nose is about to hit the eddy line, we're going to take a, a little sweep stroke just to begin our momentum and get our kayak to move downstream. Once you've done this, then you have to do one of the scarier parts to this trick, and something that goes completely against the grain of what you will have been taught in your kayaking career, and that is to edge upstream. It's, it's a little bit scary because you will have been taught if you edge upstream, you fall in. And that's definitely what will happen your first few times when you try this. But when you add it all together with the other ingredients of this trick, it's going to enable us to get our kayak vertical and spinning down the river, which is just such an awesome feeling. And I even have a little secret trick that not a lot of people do, and that is to preload the kayak. So before our bodies in the second half of our kayak cross the eddy line and we have to deal with all the power of the river, we're going to edge upstream while we're still in the eddy and we're gonna let the water come over the stern of our kayak and start weighting it so it starts dropping early. The reason that we're doing this in the eddy is because it's way easier to just lean while you're in the flat water and you don't have to deal with the current, and it also weights the stern of your kayak. So before you even hit the main part of the river, and before you even initiate the trick really, you've already got your kayak to, to be underwater, which is what we want, and when you hit the eddy line and you do your push stroke, it's just gonna fly up and be vertical and it's gonna be so much easier. So. Our hips are about to cross the eddy line, our nose is moving downstream, the stern of our kayak is preloaded and we've got some edge on. What we want to do now is plant our paddle and get ready to push. Once you've planted your paddle, you're going to drop more edge. Scary, I know, but just do it. Trust me, you will be fine. You're going to drop more edge and you're going to push really hard on your paddle and pull really, really hard with your knees. And once you do this, your kayak is going to start slicing under the water. The oncoming current is going to hit the stern of your kayak. Combined with you pushing the stern of your kayak underneath the water, your nose is going to fly up and you're going to be dead vertical doing your first tailie, which is awesome. This is one of the first tricks that I really learned and it was it took me forever, but I was just in love with it and I would spend all day just doing tailies in this little eddy line on the River D. I'm not sure if any of you guys have been there. That's my home spot and I absolutely love it and this trick. If you look when I'm pushing, I'm twisted really hard over the side of my boat. So as a general rule of any freestyle trick, we want our bodies on our heads to be ahead of the kayak because once, once the kayak catches up to our bodies on our heads, all of the momentum stops. The kayak doesn't know where to go because we're not showing it where to go. And if this happens, then you'll stop spinning around and being able to balance your kayak and you'll just be in a stall and you'll fall on your head, which is cool, but it's not necessarily what we want. So we want to be pre-rotating ahead of the kayak and, and enabling the kayak to follow our bodies and spin around. Some really common mistakes here. Number one, I see people all the time, they put the edge on early 
And then right as they cross the eddy line, they do what they've been told to do, which is to not lean upstream. They miss the edge transition, and then they try and drop their edge again while they're already out in the main current and not on the eddy line. And this is not what we want. As soon as we put that edge on, we want to hold on to that edge forever. Don't be like the lady at the end of the Titanic. Never let go, all right? Just keep holding on to that edge, trust it, and you will get vertical. The second mistake that I see a lot, and we've already talked about this a little bit, but it's not, it's when people don't rotate themselves onto the other side of a kayak. So if we don't do this, number one, our kayak doesn't spin nicely. And number two, because we're edging one way in our kayak, we have to compensate that. If we were to lean this way and edge this way, we would fall in. But if we edge this way and we lean this way, then we counterbalance ourselves and we're actually pretty balanced at this point. If you don't do that, then this is what will happen. Brent Arden. Yeah. One of the UK's very best. <laughs> All right. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to everyone that has subscribed, checked us out, left comments. We love seeing all the suggestions on what videos to make and what you guys like and you don't like. And it's just awesome. So please keep leaving the comments. We read all of them. We think you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helps you learn how to tailie. If you start hitting your tailies because of this video, tag me on Instagram. I want to see it happening. It'd be awesome to be able to share that with you guys. So yeah, that's everything. Hope you guys have an awesome summer and I'll see you on the water.